Hey! Hi! Hello! It's Ruby here, welcome back to this video. So today I'm going to be doing a skincare routine and no one asked for this but here it is anyway. Although, actually, someone on my Instagram in like 2020 was like, drop a skincare routine. So here it is, this is for you, the one person that cares, this is for you. Okay, so let's begin the routine with step one. Cleanser. This is the Youth to the People Kale and Green Tea Spinach Vitamin Superfood Cleanser. This is one of the best cleansers I have ever used. So basically my skin type is oily to normal and this product is really good for that. I feel like it cleans my skin properly, um, removes any makeup that I haven't gotten off with my face halo. I didn't feel tight after I wash it, which is great. I don't really like that feeling of the tightness. So let's begin and actually do my skincare routine. I don't know why I'm showing you the products. But the, skin, the sink's over there, so let me just... Okay, I've just wet my face, and then I'm gonna take like that much. Usually there's a, there's a pump on this, so I just take one pump, but I've lost the pump, so... Okay, so I'm just gonna kind of um, rub it together with my hand so that I get a foaming kind of texture. And then I'm gonna circular motions very gently. I just feel like the key to everything with your skin, be gentle. Be nice, okay? Be calm, gentle, and loving. So I just make sure that I'm, especially around my nose, because that's where I get the most oily. So I saw this TikTok that said that you should be cleansing for like the longest time out of your whole skincare routine. Like cleansing should be the longest step. Um, and I never used to do that. I used to like cleanse so quickly. And now, cleansing is my longest step. I don't know if it has made a difference. I think it has, I think it has. Because then, you know, you're getting all the oil and everything, everything trapped in your pores out of your skin. So now I'm going to wash it off with cold water. I always use cold water on my skin um, because I just feel like it helps to close the pores. Great. Okay. My morning skincare routine is so simple. It's only got four products. Okay, four products. And I just don't think that you need like a 10 step skincare routine. My evening skin is probably like five or six steps. And I kind of like rotate through a few different products depending on what I want for my skin at the time. I'll get to that at the end of the video. Okay, so next I'm using the Ordinary Niacinamide 10% plus Zinc 1%. Okay, so this is a high strength vitamin and mineral blemish formula, okay? I feel like this is one of the key things that I need to use for clear skin. Before I was using the Paula's Choice Nice and Mind, which is also good. Now I switch to the Ordinary because it is a bit more affordable. So I'm gonna take some on the dropper and then just put it on your face. And then just lightly kind of pat it into your whole face. Don't forget your nose. Your nose is the more, most important area, especially if you have blackheads. Okay, so that kind of leaves a wet finish on your face for a few minutes. It dries down pretty quickly, but I do like to wait for it to dry down before I go on to my next step, which is moisturizing. We're already at moisturizing, we're almost done, guys. <sighs> Keep it simple, okay? Okay, so next onto moisturizer, we have the Coconut Water Cream from First Aid Beauty. It's very lightweight, it's oil-free. As I have oily skin, I like to avoid, you know, very heavy products on my skin. If you have oily skin, you should always try and go for a gel moisturizer because that was one of the biggest things that I realized way too late because I was using cream moisturizers, which you just should not be using if you have oily skin. You should be using a gel, okay? This is what it looks like. I'm almost empty and I'm kind of stressed because I'm currently in Melbourne, because I'm from Melbourne, but I live in London. I'm going back to London on Tuesday. I have to make this. Can you see? I have to make this last till Tuesday. Like, I just don't know if that's possible. Anyway, let's see. It's a challenge. Okay, so I take some on my nail. That much. Usually I'm quite generous with this, but as I have to ration myself, this is all we're going to do right now. I'm probably going to need a bit more than that, but okay, whatever. For the sake of the video. And then I just, you know, gently, gently as always, get that all nicely absorbed into my skin. 
And then what I like to do is give myself a nice little face massage. So I usually put moisturizer all over my hands, but as we're running low on it, I'm just gonna use a residual. So I usually like to go like this, go like this. Okay, so that is the moisturizing step done. Final step is sunscreen. Actually, we have one like mini final step after this, but we, sunscreen is the next step. So I've run out of the regular sunscreen that I use, which is the La Roche Posay SPF 50. I'll insert a pic of it here so that you guys know what I'm talking about. But I'm gonna use my backup one, which is the Diaclairs um, Soft Airy EV Essence Everyday Sun Protector SPF 50. Both of the sunscreens that I use don't have a white cast, which is a very important feature for me as I am brown. I remember back when I was like a teenager, we're in high school and stuff, they didn't make sunscreens for brown people. Like they would leave the worst white casts and that was not cool. It's not really not cool. Final step, absolute final step of this daytime skincare routine, because this is the daytime, we'll talk about nighttime in a second, is lip balm. We love lip balm. How cute is this? I literally found this in one of my drawers. I feel like it's my mom's. It's a tiny little Vaseline. How adorable is that? Just like tiny. It's a rosy lips for soft pink lips. So I'm gonna use this. That's my daytime skincare routine, done. For my nighttime skincare, it's more or less the same, but let me just run you through because I add a few products. So usually I will remove all my makeup with a face halo. I don't really use anything else. I don't use any, any other products. I used to use balms and those kind of things, but I just found that the face halo works really well to remove everything. For mascara, if I'm wearing like waterproof mascara, sometimes I will use a like a cotton pad and some micellar water to like just make sure I get it all off because Face Halo does sometimes struggle with that. Then I cleanse as I did previously with the same cleanser. Then I use, ow, I just stubbed my toe. <laughs> okay, so I use my niacinamide as I did before. It's still the next step. And then what I do is use this, okay? This is, this is the Inculus Alpha Arbutin. This helps to fade dark spots. So when I get pimples, spots, zits, whatever you want to call them, I usually get like darkness. It'll leave like a scar. It'll leave a, like a dark brown, you know, scar, hyperpigmentation, okay? So that is one of the things that I want to target with my skincare routine. And this product is so good for that. It's specifically designed to target dark spots and to help fade them. Yeah, this product I've only been using since, well, I've been using it since like October of last year. And it's so good. I can't believe how quickly it speeds up the fading of the dark spots. So depending on the day, I might put this either all over my face or sometimes I will just spot on the, on the areas that I want to fade or whatever. So Alpha Arbutin I use every single evening. Um, and the next three products are products that I use once a week, okay? So I like to do a chemical exfoliant once a week. So this is the Paul's Choice. BHA liquid exfoliant um, with salicylic acid. Okay, this is amazing. It's so good. It's worth the hype. I feel like this is a very hyped product, but I do think it's worth the hype. So if I'm using this product in the evening, I don't do anything other than cleanse. I don't use niacinamide. I don't use alpha arbutin. I just use this, okay? So this happens once a week. I cleanse, use this product, and then I leave my skin bare. Don't do anything for 30 minutes. I let it completely absorb in, you know, let it do its thing, and then I moisturize. The next product that I use once a week is this azelaic acid from The Ordinary. It is called azelaic acid suspension 10%. It's a multifunctional brightening formula. Okay, this is also designed to help with hyperpigmentation, dark spots, whatever else. It kind of help, has helped to clear darkness around my nose, around my mouth, and it's done an amazing job. Usually I'll mix this in with my moisturizer. I'll dot my moisturizer over my face. I'll dot this on at the same time, mix it in. Great. Usually I will still use niacinamide before I use this and before I go ahead and moisturize. Okay, so the next product that I use, this is another one that I will use once a week. It is the tran Tranexamy. The Tranexamic? <laughs> I don't know. The, tran the Tranexamic Acid. The Tranexamic Acid Night Treatment. Again, okay, all my products, all these products are designed to reduce hyperpigmentation. Okay, that's what I'm targeting. That is my main like skincare concern. Okay, so this is a night treatment specifically. So the way that I use this is I will cleanse um, and I will use niacinamide and nothing else. No moisturizer, nothing. Then I will apply a thin layer of this all over my face and then I won't do anything else. I will sleep. 
I wake up the next morning and I'll do my morning skincare routine. So no moisturizer is required when you're using this product. Okay, oh my god, that's everything, is it? Let me just check. That is everything. I know it seemed like a lot towards the end and I felt like I was selling the fact that it was very simple, but I do think it's simple because the last four products that I showed you, I only use once a week. So that is my skincare routine. As you can see, this is my skin. Um, you know, I'm pretty happy with it. I feel like it's elite 29 year old skin. I am 29. So, you know, yeah. <laughs> okay, well, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. You can find me on Instagram, Depop, TikTok, and Pinterest. Find me on TikTok. I'm back posting properly again. And, you know, I'm having fun with it. I'm actually liking posting on TikTok. Although it does drain like five hours out of my day solidly every single day because I just get sucked into watching it. But anyway, I love you guys and I hope you have an amazing day and goodbye and see you soon. Bye.